Now, when you see Happy Madison flash up on the screen, I'll be honest, I feel safe, comforted, happy that what I'm about to see may not be a masterpiece, but it'll deliver enough laughs to make it worth my time. But is the wrong Missy the right choice for you? With Adam Sandler not even making a cameo appearance, it falls on his friends to carry the film. Thankfully, they chose David Spade to lead it, and that always works for me being that I am a fan. Flanked by the fantastic Lauren Lapkus as our leading lady, Nick Swardson as the obligatory best friend, veteran Jeff Pearson putting in a great performance as the boss, Sarah Chalk, who you'll know from Scrubs, and of course, <laughs> you have to have it, Sandler's wife, Jackie, and his nephew, Jared. Oh, and I probably don't need to mention this, but uh, Rob Schneider's there as well. Oh, and I'm sure wrestling fans across the globe will be thrilled to know that Roman, we <laughs> Roman Reigns is in a scene as well. Oh, joy. Now, I'm a wrestling fan, make no mistake, but I was more excited to see... George Garcia than the self-proclaimed big dog. So what's it about? Well, in short, a man goes on a disastrous date with a girl named Missy. Later, he has a brief romantic encounter with a girl named Melissa and begins to fall for her. His company are going on a corporate retreat and he can invite someone, so he decides to text Melissa. But probably see where this is going already. Oops, he accidentally invited the chaotic, bizarre Missy instead. And before you can say, oh shit, the plane's taking off, it's too late. I'm sure you can see entirely the direction this movie goes without even watching it. But that's the kind of predictable that I deem acceptable. Or even that I insist upon. Our cast take this second-rate Happy Madison movie and do their best with it. Swardson walks his usual line of funny and annoying, and Lapkus's character sadly does the same. One minute I see no problem with her antics, and the next I'd rather have a pair of chopsticks rammed up my urethra than spend five minutes with her. It's pretty standard stuff. There are laughs to be had. So, as I said at the beginning, it made itself worth it. But some cringy moments really ruined it for me. Perfectly watchable, and a harmless 90 minutes, but don't expect anything groundbreaking. I award the wrong Missy a 6 out of 10. So, rant time, and... Forewarned, there are spoilers ahead. Now, I'm genuinely curious for those of you who have seen this. Had you been in David Spade's position, experienced the same things, would you fall for Missy? Or would you have been running after Melissa? I mean, let me be clear, she's adorable. But with her silly voices, mustache impressions, and generally embarrassing psychotic behaviour, could you? Multiple times throughout the film, I kept warming to her. And then she'd do something that totally put me off. It's not about attraction. It's about not wanting to be stabbed in the face with an ice pick while I slept. So what do you guys think of The Wrong Missy? Do you still get excited about Happy Madison movies? Would you have chosen Missy or Melissa? Tell me in the comments below. Like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Later, folks.